Hey everyone, Tina here with Tina's Inspired Art. Thanks for joining me on my channel today. Before we begin the pour I'm going to be doing today, I wanted to share with you some exciting news, something fun and different. Um, another artist here on YouTube, she's very well known. Her name is Risk Down. She has reached out to me and wanted to perhaps collaborate together. on our pours and our individual styles that we each do on our channels. She is the founder of the Dutch Pour. She lives in the Netherlands, so she created the Dutch Pour that you see all over YouTube. And many of us artists um, incorporate that into our, our work every day as artists. Well, when I found that technique, I absolutely loved it and I had tried so many different techniques that are out there and I was just kind of trying um, my best at what I felt passionate about and I really latched on to the Dutch pour. I found it a little bit more complicated, um, which I like to have something be a challenge and yet still achievable. Um, so I proceeded to do the Dutch pours in all of my art pieces. And one day I decided to just kind of play around and do something that would identify me as um, artist. And I decided to perform and manipulate the Dutch pour to take it to the next level and add what I call my signature style to my art. So she reached out to me one day and asked if we would like to collaborate together. She would do my style and my technique using her recipes of how she mixes her paints because she wanted to stay true to how she mixes her own paints and not change that piece of it but yet incorporate my signature style to her original Dutch pour that she does. And so then I was going to do something that was um, aligned with what she has recently been doing is all around nature and bringing that flower bloom look to her Dutch pour. I have done those in the past prior to this particular video, but I thought I'd bring it back around and do it in honor of her doing one of mine so we could therefore share it at the same time and share those each individual uh, techniques. And so what I am going to do for you today is a Dutch pour, but incorporate her bloom technique uh, using that particular technique. I'm really excited about doing it. I've got a uh, beautiful color palette uh, selected for today's pour. I hope it turns out really well. I hope I make Risk very proud of this particular pour that I'm going to do in honor of her. Um, she's such a wonderful artist. I love watching her channel. Um, I've only had my channel for a short while. Uh, actually just a few months, maybe six months. Um, but I have been an artist for about 30 years and doing various mediums or working with a variety of different mediums and I've really latched on to the fluid acrylic. So um, I plan on doing a whole lot more, uh, creating a whole lot more, doing and coming up with different ideas and sharing it with you all. So please join me today in my pour that's uh, honoring Risk Downa and her expertise that she has shared with the world and continues to share. And I feel very honored that she has reached out to me um, to incorporate my uh, signature style to the uh, technique, the original technique. So thanks again for joining me today and stay tuned for a really special pour for today.
Okay guys, before we do begin this pour, I did want to show you just a couple of my uh, more recent um, signature styles that I have incorporated to these Dutch pours that I did recently. And then again, I took it a one step further as well and I incorporated um, some hand painting of some vines on this particular piece. This piece is very special to me. One being, um, I actually did it with my granddaughter, Brielle. She and I had a uh, great day together, spending it in my studio, and we painted together, and she was my little helper in the background. So this particular pour is on um, my YouTube channel. You can find it and um, it shows you exactly how I made this beauty. This was a Dutch pour, and it was kind of the bloom effect. I did do a split canvas with black and white, but I did the pour in the middle and just blew it out like it was a flower. And then I just took it to one step further and I made this a little focal point right there and just um, enhanced where it looked more like a flower or helped to make it look more like a flower but very abstract but I thought she came out super pretty. You can find that on my website at www.tinasinspiredart.com so thanks again and uh, stay tuned for this fun pour we're going to have for today. We're going to be working on a 12 by 24 inch canvas. Start off with the Dutch pour using the PPG house interior paint and my color palette for today. I'll go through that real quick with you. Um, I'm going to start off with a Liquitex Copper Arteza Lime Green, which has metallic in it as well. This is a Liquitex Bronze. Um, this is Arteza Copper, so two different kinds of copper. They are slightly different colors. One's lighter, one's darker. Um, and then a Liquitex Gold. So that's my color palette for today. Lots of metallics. Um, almost earthy looking, I guess. Fall-like, but... Um, not that I'm wishing fall to be here, but I think that color palette is going to look very nice together. Um, let me just lay these out for you real quick. I think you can see how pretty those colors look together. And I think for the center, for the center of my bloom that I'm going to create will be black. So yeah, I think we're going to get this started. You guys stay with me. Thanks for joining me again. And we're going to have lots of fun. I hope I can make Risk proud of me um, for the final result of this bloom. While it's a more of a um, rectangle versus a square, I want to have that bloom kind of stretched out. Just a slightly different shape, but I think it's going to look pretty cool. Stick with me. Hey guys, I'm back. I went ahead and I covered my canvas. I'm noticing that I really like having the canvas on this spinner too so I can get all my corners <laughs> and can just turn the canvas in all directions so I can get that paint dripping off the underneath part of it so yeah it's kind of fun makes it a little easier we'll see how it works out going forward so let's get this started might start off with just a little bit more paint right in the middle. Get 
getting started. That way it'll kind of layer on and be able to blow this out a little bit better. We'll start off with a little bit of this copper in the middle. Nice copper circle. Then with this green, and I'm just going to go circle by circle instead of squiggling it around. We'll do it just like she does it. Pop that bubble. There's another little bubble. And then with the bronze, beautiful bronze, I love the bronze. See those layers, and more of this deeper, richer copper. And with some gold. I might throw in just a little bit more of this green right here. Got that gold. And then on top of that, we're going to go in with this black. It gives you a nice little center. Let me um, use my heat gun, get rid of those bubbles, there we go, that's what it needed. Perfect. And then, we're going to have some fun. We'll put this right in the middle, guys. Don't want it to take over too much. There we go. I think we're about ready. One little bubble right there. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. All right, here we go. All right, let's see if I can't do this. I'm going to start right up through here. exactly what I was hoping for but maybe we can work with it we'll see if not we're gonna have to scrape it and start again I don't really care for how that black blew out at all it's just not what I expected at all something make it work let me 
which you guys can watch my fail. <laughs> It's definitely not something that I expected, but it maybe looks like more like a um, sunflower or something. So we'll see if I can do a little bit of the spinning. I'll add just a little bit more of the white paint around the edges so it can flow. Have some flow. We'll see if this works. <laughs> Just gonna give it a little spin. I don't know what kind of mess it'll make, but we'll see. Let's see how it does spinning out. See if it the composition looks a little better. I may define the petals a little bit more looking kind of like a maybe a sunflower i'm going to fix the middle portion of it I'm not too excited about that part of it um, but i may be able to work with it we'll see let's see if we can make this turn into a beauty maybe it's a ugly duckling right now but maybe i can help create it to be a little bit more pleasing to the eye. Let's see if I can define some of these petals just a little bit. Just make it look that much better. Fix the middle portion of it. I fix this up I'll put you on fast forward so you can continue to watch the process Hey guys, just bringing you back to a closer view of this one we just finished. Well, it wasn't what I was expecting at all. I guess it doesn't look half as bad as I thought it was going to. Um, kind of reminds me of maybe a big sunflower. But yeah, I think she actually turned out okay. I did a little bit of manipulating in the middle. Just kind of made it look like it had seeds in the middle to make it look more of a sunflower look. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And um, 
If you like these color combinations, it looks like a nice little fall piece um, that can be displayed. But yeah, I hope I've made Risk um, proud of me for my attempt at doing this um, Dutch pour bloom effect. Uh, I hope she likes it. Let me know in the comments, guys. My website is www.tinasinspiredart.com and you can check me out on Instagram and Facebook at Tina's Inspired Art. Thanks again for joining me and thanks again guys. Love you all. Have a great day. Bye for now. Hey guys, I'm back. I just wanted to pop back on as you just saw me painting these leaves on this sunflower. Um, she definitely has come to life for me, um, making me smile. I really feel like she's very warm and inviting, a beautiful little sunflower to kick off the fall that's upon us. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, these are the final results. They're all dry now. And I'll just zoom you in real close just to see the hand painting that I did do on this. The center looks like little seeds from the sunflower. And I really think this pour came out quite beautiful. I really hope that you have enjoyed this process and seeing how this has been created. Thanks again, Risk, for all that you do, all that you've shared. And I look forward to doing more pours with you in the future.